So today we face a grave situation of climate change. When I sit back on terrace watering the plants, I always think, is the natural disaster a warning to mankind to live in peace with nature? Have we really encroached nature and taken things for granted? And was the recent lockdown a way of healing her? Are we all chasing lives without any purpose and that too at what cost? We have somehow become ignorant about our time, about our spaces, our places, and forgotten our ancient basics and living in an illusion. This is one of the way the nature tells us to go and stay minimal. We need to connect to ourselves, get inspired, listen to the sounds of the birds and beautiful hymns. We need to stop treating everything like a commodity and it's high time that we will start living in sync with nature. The future of new architecture is of sustainable living and sustainable workspaces that promotes eco-friendly living and healthy environment. According to some studies, uh, according to me, sustainable is to increase light, to design with healthy materials and to inspire. According to some studies, major climate changes Energy consumption, landfill waste, pollution, drinking water pollution are all uh, created by the buildings. Construction activities consume more than half of resources extracted from the nature. This means that the sustainable development cannot be done without fundamental change in which the buildings are constructed. We need to adapt uh, to the carbon footprint and control our carbon footprint need to recycle, reuse, and go on a greener ways of construction. The three biggest challenges that we feel today, the construction industry faces, is the labor shortage, the safety in adapting new technology, and adapt, uh, safety and adapting to the new technology, resulting in delayed constructions and overhead costs. The ecological balance due to concrete is already what we are seeing which we has to be avoided and steel becomes one way on which how we can design. We have seen already the advantages of the steel and the limitations. I will straight away go with the case studies. I started this uh, with a journey and I am proud to say that LSJ Gopal sir was one such mentor who has created me to design in steel. It was in one of our visits where for a client he was supposed to design a building and we had converted the workshop into an RCC structure and my own house into a pre-engineered building structure. So uh, the entire credit of this entire platform goes to him. Thank you, sir. This was a house for two brothers, an architect's own house, minimal, innovative in construction, and the material had to be exhibited in a true form. We are always uh, take into consideration the climatic aspects and orient our buildings accordingly. So the living zones are placed on the eastern side, the sleeping zones or the private zones are placed on the southern side with greenery from all the sides, the balcony, cantilevered balcony from all the four sides. The plan is a free-flowing structure there are minimal walls, the eye sections that you see are the uh, pre-engineered uh, eye columns and there are no walls, only where the services are required we had walls over there. There is a free flow of air with a courtyard on the top. So the entire structure was constructed in seven days. I call this as an iPhone 7 model because this was a composite structure with steel and uh, uh, regular RCC slabs. The entire shed was constructed in steel and then we had regular slabs. The entire structure looks like this. The walls are of clay blocks, hollow clay blocks. The outer fins are of aluminium which are pivoted. The northern and uh, the su su from northwest to southeast the entire structure is covered with clay blocks resisting the heat inside. 
The fins give tangibility to the entire structure, reducing the glare and connecting us to the nature again back. The hollow clay blocks insulate the entire structure. They form a part of interiors as well. This is how the house looks from inside. The open terrace creating a play of light and shadow, also inviting the birds and other uh, creatures inside the house becoming part of family. This entire house was platinum rated in 2017, saving almost 25% um, of electrical energy. And this, ha this house had no lintels, no chajas, no grills, without any use of false selling, POP or plaster. And the entire building uh, almost uh, conserved 55% of natural resources as compared to conventional RCC structure. The second house is the Nexon Bolts house. This was for an investment consultant. Uh, the house was uh, the house had to be built as soon as possible because he had sold his uh, uh, ancestral property, and the constraint was that there was no water on the site. The plot was very small, and after leaving the side margins, the space allowed to build was very less. So we uh, convinced the client to go in for a steel construction. The entire columns that you see uh, are placed on the periphery, so leaving, a prop, uh, leaving the entire free space for designing. Again, the climatic factors, we had uh, the living areas on the east and the western areas were uh, covered with the services like toilets, staircase block and utility areas. The living area was placed again in the center with two adjoining bedrooms on the corners. So this was the total structure. On the ground floor we had parking and uh, office area. On the first floor we had kitchen, parents bedroom and a living area. And on the second floor we had two bedrooms with a lounge. So this was uh, again a development in our uh, steel structures. We now introduced the deck sheets uh, instead of going with conventional RCC structure. So the entire structure was erected in seven days. Almost 18 tons of steel was used for the 3,000 square feet construction. And again, we always were successful in conserving 60% of natural resources and 40% of water. And it was well erected in time. So on day one, you see the hierarchy, it was just the place. On day one, the entire frame was constructed, uh, erected. Day three, all the deck sheets were done. And on day seven, after all alignment and everything, all the slabs were cast. The deck sheeting. We worked on all the connection details, and this time we made sure that architecture and structure would integrate together. So all the connection details need to be planned. You see the structural elements exhibited as a part of architectural element and along with the clay blocks we integrated steel and the wooden lures were, uh, the grills were replaced by the wooden lures which also avoided the glare. Few interior shots, the interiors were also left like that, uh, like we have the traditional houses, the rafters and the deck sheet. The, India, the rafters were planned, the secondary beams were planned in such a way uh, that it would match with the interiors. The electrical layout and everything was already done accordingly. On the same lines, we uh, did another commercial project, the com residential com commercial building. It's ongoing still. I mean, the interiors had to be done. The building was erected in 21 days. This is a small machine quarter villa. Now the people started acknowledging steel buildings, but they don't want the industrial look. So they wanted everything to be covered and plush. So this was a machine quarter's villa at Devalgaon Raja. It's a small place near Buldana, and there we had labor shortages and the labor issues. You you cannot get quality workmanship. So that paved the way for the steel construction. It's a big villa of almost 15,000 square feet. So you have a courtyard, the decks, and the double light spaces. So that is the structure. Here we tried to conserve more than 60% because the entire RCC roof was also done with mangalore tiles. 
these are the few clippings. Here we insulated the entire walls uh, uh, by having cavity walls. Uh, the entire uh, steel structure is encased between the two walls. Buldana is a very hot uh, area. They, they have a lot of uh, heat, almost of more than 50, 45 degrees centigrade. So this walls would insulate the entire heat and would provide the coolness inside and also protect the steel structure. We also indulged into labor quarters. So the entire labor quarters of cluster of eight was created and almost less than three tons of steel was used in this with the help of Tata structural sections. The entire walls are of load uh, aerocon partitions. So the entire labor quarters of almost 16, uh, plus, uh, 16 uh, blocks was completed in hardly a month's time. A few commercial buildings that we indulged into which were uh, not done because of Corona or because of the price crisis of the steel in between. We have also indulged into affordable housing staff quarters and proposed prototype classrooms for Zilla Parishad schools. Yes, for the first time in the history, the human psyche is affected in a manner and is ready to change. It would be interesting how we reciprocate and it would be exciting how it goes from here and how we transform. As designers, I would, uh, I mean, appeal can, can we change and can we change the preferences of our materials and act responsibility, uh, do less, reduce the carbon footprint and have a conscious approach. Thank you very much.